Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our time of devotional for Catawissa Parish. I'm so glad that you're able to be here. My name is Pastor Adam Miller, and I'm the pastor here at uh, Catawissa, which is Culp and Roaring Creek Valley Churches. Uh, tonight, we're going to continue on with our devotional on Wednesday evening. So I'm going to give folks just a few moments to join us and for you to find me here on Facebook and YouTube. We're so happy uh, that we can gather in this format. We can be community of God called together even throughout the week. Uh, if this is your first time joining, welcome. If you've been joining forever, welcome to you as well. Um, tonight, uh, just a few things. Reminder, uh, obviously, worship this Sunday morning. Culp at 9 a.m. and online at 9 a.m. and 10.30 at RCV Church. We would love for you to be able to join us for worship in person or online, whatever you are most comfortable with, uh, but that you would take the priority to join us for worship because uh, certainly in this world we need as much Jesus as we can possibly get. Uh, tonight uh, we're going to go a little bit different than tomatoes that we went last week, so if tomatoes weren't your thing, you're, you're in luck. We're not going to do two weeks of that. Uh, yesterday we had an opportunity as pastors of the Lewisburg District to have a day apart, which we usually have every year, uh, and we were able to have it this year in person, and we were able to have it at Wesley Ford. So it was a day of recharge and re-equipping and uh, reflecting and fellowshipping and, well, of course, eating, but we did all of those things together, and, and one of it is we had a guest speaker of J.R. Briggs, who's an author. Uh, he's from Pennsylvania here as well, and I encourage you to look him up. He's got some books. Uh, I have not read any of them yet. Don't tell him. Uh, he has a podcast, and I'm just starting to dive into that as well, so uh, looking forward to reading some of his material, and who knows? Maybe we'll have an online Bible study or in-person Bible study with some of his work coming soon. Uh, so I just want to encourage you, this is a scripture he used last night, in, or yesterday, excuse me, in the translation that he used, and I want to share that with all of you today. Uh, it is from Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. This is always a scripture that has brought comfort to me, it's brought encouragement to me, and so uh, hearing a little bit of a different translation just struck me different, especially in this season uh, where we find ourselves... Um, you know, shoring up uh, water plugs wherever wherever we can because it, it just seems to keep pouring in on us quite literally sometimes. And so this scripture, originally from Matthew 11, 28 through 30, has this uh, refrain of, you know, come to me all who are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest. The message translation takes that a little bit different. And sometimes we can use different translations to... Um, to just hit us differently. Uh, all of us talk in different styles, all of us have different vocabulary we use, uh, and so different translations offers us to see different perspectives of what uh, is theologically the same thing, uh, but just provides a little bit different angle at it. So hear these words as I read them from Matthew 11, 28 through 30. This is the message translation. Are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me, get away with me, and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me, and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Again, uh, your translation, if you're following along in your Bible at home or on your phone, might be a little bit different. Certainly the translation I usually use, which is the New Revised Standard Version or NRSV, is different. But this from the message really just, it struck me yesterday and I wanted to share it with all of you today. Again, that, that first part of it, are you tired? Are you worn out? Burned out on religion? Come to me, get away with me and you'll recover your life. These words that Jesus is speaking just seemed so appropriate for our world today. I believe most of us are tired and worn out. I would even go so far to say as most of us are burned out with no energy to start or restart or reinvent 
we are weary. But Jesus' words go on to say, come to me, get away with me, and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. So often I think we forget about Jesus and resting. I think so often we think, uh, we hear these words of, come to me all who are heavy and um, laden with burdens and, and I'll give you rest, but we don't really fully understand what those words mean to us. We don't fully understand what the implications are until we find ourselves in a place where we seem exhausted from a changing world around us, exhausted because things feel outside of our control, exhausted because everything changes and doesn't seem to make sense in the why that it's changing or why people are acting the way they're acting. And we need Jesus' words of, imitate me, he says. Do what I do. Jesus, after feeding the 5,000 in Matthew 14, starting in verse 22, after he's fed those 5,000, which was, let's be real, more than over 10,000 people, after he had fed all of those people, he sent the disciples out on a boat, out onto the lake. He sent them out away. And then Jesus went and took a nap. Jesus went and rested and prayed before he joined the disciples by walking on the water. Jesus knew how to rest. After he had put on a meal, after he had performed miracles, after he had uh, shared the good news that he was bringing, he rested. He relaxed. He vacationed. Are you getting rest? I know the answer for a lot of us is no. Maybe for some of us, we're saying, yes, that's all I'm doing is resting. Are you restored in your rest? Notice the difference there. We can sit all day long and be exhausted by the end of the day because our minds are going, we're questioning, we're thinking, we're doing, we're interacting. We can be going all day doing hard, laborious work and be exhausted. But are we getting the rest that we need? Are we coming to Jesus and finding that his burden and his yoke is not heavy, but it is light? Jesus says, excuse me, again in this scripture, keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. I think we need that now more than ever. You're joining me on social media, either Facebook or YouTube, to watch this. So you literally know that our social media world always isn't the most healthy place for us to be. We literally know the negative, angry, and hurtful comments that we can read or see. We literally know the frustration of seeing someone comment something that maybe we don't even know who the person is, but it makes us angry what they say. We think how little they know or how wrong they are when we think we know all of the answers in the right ways. Are you tired? Are you worn out? Are you looking for rest that actually restores in this world? Come to Jesus. We as Christians, I believe, need to do a better job of showing the world what to do when we are worn out, when we are weary and ragged. I believe more and more we need to be showing others that Jesus is there even when we personally don't have all of the answers. We serve a Savior who does. Who have you reached out to this past week to share in a friendship? And catching up, whether it be in person or over the phone or, or through video call? Who is it that you've reached out to that God's been nudging you to speak to that might be just struggling to find peace in this season? Hear these words again and again from Jesus. Come to me, get away with me, and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. 
when we are physically, emotionally, and spiritually drained, are we going away and resting and praying, communing with God before we go on to the next task? Or are we just so set on getting to the next thing that we forget that we serve a Savior who is, uh, we are able to glorify through everything that we do? Are we, as followers of Christ in the age of 2021, remembering one of the most basic things of life? Rest. Renewal. Because out of that comes strength. You know, so often I find myself, and today be no exception, of turning to coffee. Whether it be iced coffee or hot coffee but constantly reaching for that caffeine to keep going, to get everything done that needs done, to keep up with a two-year-old that likes to touch and experience everything that he possibly can in a moment. And then I catch myself, and I realize that we need rest. We need moments of simply being in the presence of God, learning how Jesus did it as he walked this earth as God incarnate, who took rest, who knew his limits, rested, even though he was omnipotent, all-powerful, able to do everything possible, he still took rest. So can't we? Whatever you are going through today, whether it's sheer joy or panic or worry or doubt or or whatever it might be, or mediocrity, rest. Find moments of rest where we can spend simply in the presence of God saying, thank you, Jesus, for today. Thank you for the opportunities you've presented. Thank you that your burden is not heavy like this world. Renew me and my spirit. How can we, as followers of Jesus Christ, share to the world around us? You ready for this? That Jesus provides joy in our heart. When we share the message, something like, well, Jesus just, just gives me rest. And, and he just gives me so much joy. And I would spend more time talking to Jesus if I just had the time. If we aren't showing signs that we can be renewed in the raggedness of this life by the almighty power of God, how is that going to convey or translate to anyone else? It's like having an energy drink commercial, but shooting it with a flock of sheep that have just fallen asleep. It doesn't make sense. How are we? Showing that though we are weary and tired of this world, though we have so much mistrust, so though we have so much hurt or anger, and sometimes we look for places unhealthily to dump that, that we serve a Savior who offers us true rest and peace. True rest and peace. I want to encourage you that tonight and throughout this week. Pray a prayer that's maybe so simple as saying, Jesus, show me how to rest. Help me reprioritize my, my week. Help me reprioritize my day. Help me connect better with you so that I may be a better disciple for you. Okay, so that's our uh, scripture for tonight. And again, that's Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 through 30. If you like this translation of it, uh, the message offers that. Uh, that's what I read that from. Uh, it's a little bit unique. If you Google Matthew 11, uh, 28 through 30, the message, it'll pop right up. You can click on it with, I think it's Open Bible or one of the Bible websites. It'll pop right up that you can read it if you'd like to. Uh, are there prayer concerns? Are there joys? Lift them up in the feed so we can share in them together uh, so that we can be renewed, that we can uh, uh, offer over to Jesus all of those things that are on our hearts that are heavy on us and weighing us down uh, so that we can find real rest tonight and, and every day in the arms of Christ. Certainly continue prayers for our nation and for our world. Uh, continue prayers for Culp and Roaring Creek Valley and Bethel churches. Uh, and I would ask, uh, obviously this last week, our sermon was on prayer. And I want to ask that you would be in prayer. If you could do me this favor, uh, could you be in prayer for Sunday morning for our worship services? Uh, 9 o'clock online and at Culp and 1030 at RCV. Could you be in prayer for those, please? Uh, whether you attend them or don't attend them, 
uh, whether you're a member or not, whether you attend one or the other, pray for both. Um, pray for these services, that God's Spirit would be present, that God's Spirit would be upon me, that would be upon the pianist, that would be a part of anyone who's involved in worship, that it would be a sweet offering to God that is pleasing to him. Uh, so please be in prayer. Be in prayer as well for our world, uh, just that others would continue to come to know Christ and that we, that you and I, could be part of that exciting process, uh, that we would be part of planting those seeds that, that God one day will harvest. Uh, so if you could do that, that would be absolutely fantastic. Be praying for one another as you lift them up in the feed here as well. Um, lots of fun things are going to be on the horizon as we move towards, I can't believe it, the end of September. Uh, it's just crazy to think. Uh, oh, I also want to say thank you to all who donated toothbrushes and toothpaste for Ketawissa Food Bank. You all are just amazing. Uh, we collected a little over a thousand toothbrushes and toothpaste uh, to donate. We've far surpassed our goal that we wanted to, so thank you uh, for all of your outpouring through a donation of toothbrushes and toothpaste to be used in the food bank distribution tomorrow evening. Uh, so thank you for all of your help. Thank you for all of your support. I know whatever the next challenge is, you all will step up in a mighty way that God would be glorified through it. Uh, so with that, everyone, uh, let us come to God in a time of prayer. Lord, we are burned out. We are tired and we are weary. And Lord, we just pray for your renewal. We pray that you would lift us up that in this moment our responsibilities would be zero, and that we could simply be in your presence in this moment. Lord, hear us as your children. Forgive us of those ways that we have sinned against you. Hear our truly repentant heart as we seek to truly be disciples for you. Lord, we pray that you would make us instruments in this world, that we could bring others to know of you, that they would come to have a personal relationship, that they would find this rest and this peace in this relationship that we have found. Lord, reprioritize our schedules, reprioritize our finances and the use of our gifts, that they would glorify you throughout our days. Lord, we pray for this world. We pray for an end of violence and hatred and division. We pray for unity. Lord, we pray earnestly for it, as we know that you are alone able to do that. We pray this all in the matchless name of Jesus, who's our Lord and Savior and Redeemer. Everybody said, Amen. Thank you all for gathering tonight. Uh, again, please like this if this video was helpful for you. Please share this video if it was helpful to you at all, or you feel it might be helpful to someone else to see it, uh, share it. It takes less than a second to hit that, that share button. I think it's down here or over here. Uh, so hit that share button. Allow others to uh, see this, and hopefully um, through me or in spite of me, um, God's word would be shared. Take care, everyone. Can't wait to see you Sunday.